assalamu alaikum i am nadia muzaffar and this presentation is about genome mapping i am grateful to sin biotechnologies association sba for promoting such educational content genome map is just like a road map which guides us to reach towards our destination with the help of landmarks genome mapping is constructing a map of genome where you can find the position of a specific gene and the distance from one gene to another genome map is equally beneficial as the genome sequencing is because it helps scientists knowing about the inheritance pattern of genes and it also helps in specific study of the desired gene scientists can navigate around the genome with the help of landmarks these landmarks are known sequences of the dna it could be the regulatory sites which turns the genes on or off they may be the short dna repeats or the gene themselves scientists can find the location of desired gene with respect to these landmarks this is just to show you how a map look like this is a genome map of a single organism e coli and highlighting the loci for different genes islands are the regions which are unique and specific for a particular organism there are two types of genome mapping the physical mapping and genetic mapping physical mapping is further divided into into three types these are restriction mapping which is done with the help of restriction enzymes fish fluorescent in situ hybridization mapping sts mapping means sequence tag site mapping the restriction mapping is again divided into two subtypes these are fingerprint mapping and the optical mapping this is a brief comparison of genetic map and the physical map which i will explain in my next slides a uh, genetic map gives the relative position of the two genes whereas the physical map is giving clue uh, gives clues about the exact position of genes located on the chromosome genetic mapping one of the type of genome map is genetic mapping a scientist alfred created the first genetic map of a chromosome from fruit fly in 1913 he proposed that the frequency of crossing over between two genes could help determine their location on a chromosome Genetic mapping is expressed in centimorgan unit. Genetic mapping is done through using three types of tools. These are linkage analysis, pedigree analysis, and the genetic markers. One of the ways of genetic mapping is linkage analysis. If the two genes on a chromosome are far apart there is lesser chance of their being inherited together and if the two genes are closely located they have higher chances to be inherited together it is because during the during the recombination or crossing over the closer or the linked genes are shuffled together they stay together and are inherited together as in this diagram the gene a and b are close to each other with respect to gene c and say do so they remain together even after the recombination such genes are called linked and the distance between them is called linkage distance so with the help of linkage analysis scientists observe that the traits which are uh, continuously inherited together they are said to be linked and are close to each other on the chromosome The second way of genetic mapping is pedigree analysis in which scientists study the family history for the expression of some traits the traits which are found continuously being expressed together or are absent together the genes of such traits are considered to be linked and thus their relative position on chromosome is pre predicted as the diagram is showing a genetic map of the chromosome of fruit fly The names of genes are on the right side and on left side are the distance between these genes. These maps have been constructed using the pedigree analysis tools. The modern genetic mapping is done through genetic markers. 
In this case, the location of a gene is predicted with respect to the known position of DNA markers. If the gene and the marker stays together after recombination, they are located close to each other on the chromosome and will be inherited together. These markers are extremely valuable for tracking inheritance of characteristics or diseases through several generations of a family. These markers could be variable number of tandem, tandem repeat polymorphism, microsatellite polymorphisms, or single nucleotide polymorphisms. This was all about genetic mapping. Now the second type of mapping is the physical mapping, which is about calculating the distance between sequence on a chromosome in base pairs. In contrast to the genetic mapping, the physical mapping gives the exact location of genes on chromosome and the exact distance between them. Here with the help of this diagram, I will explain the difference between the genetic uh, mapping and the physical mapping. Here a chromosome has been shown which has been divided into five segments. Uh, as the chromosome's length is described in terms of centimorgans, the genetic mapping is also done in centimorgans. For example, here in this case, the linkage uh, map is the genetic is describing the genetic map, uh, the, which is done, which has been done in centimorgans. For example, we say that a gene A is present at centimorgan 50 and a gene B is present at centimorgan 200. So we will say that there is a distance of 150 centimorgans in between these two genes. But we do not know the length of these two genes in base pairs and the distance between these two genes in base pairs. This problem has been solved with the help of physical mapping. Physical mapping uh, as uh, here uh, labeled as long range and the short range. The long range is describing a portion of the chromosome at 10 centimorgan and it shows the uh, loci of 4 or 5 loci and at short range uh, at one of the loci uh, a gene is present which is about 20 kilo base pairs. So it is showing the complete map of a gene. Uh, in physical mapping, the gene position is described that a gene is 200 base pair long, gene A is 200 base pair long, a gene B is 350 base pair long and the distance between these two genes may be 200 base pair long. So in this way we know that we get to know the exact position of genes uh, on the chromosome and the exact location of these genes exact length of the genes and the exact distance between these two genes in kilo base pairs or the million base pairs. Uh, techniques uh, uh, the, to construct a physical map different biological techniques are applied. One of them is the restriction mapping. This uses specific restriction enzyme to cut an unknown segment of DNA at a short and known base sequence which is called a restriction site. There are many types of restriction enzymes which have a specific restriction site. So we uh, repeat this uh, experiment to get the different restriction maps for different restriction enzymes. Once we know the locations of these restriction sites, we can generate a physical map by aligning the different restriction maps along the length of chromosome. The diagram shows the restriction site of the EcoR1 restriction enzyme that always cuts at the sequence GAATTC or CTTAAG in reverse trend. There are two subtypes of the restriction mapping. These, one of them is the fingerprint mapping. In fingerprint mapping, the first step is to break the genome into fragments and get the copies of these fragments by cloning them in the bacterial cell. After this, the restriction enzymes are allowed to cut the DNA copies at their specific sites. The resulting fragments are run on electrophoresis, which gives different bands according to different lengths of fragments. By comparing these bands, we uh, made, make a band pattern like the similar bands are similar uh, similar bands are overlapped over, uh, with each other as shown in this diagram the fragment 1 2 and 3 are showing the overlapping of the similar bands 
so there a chain of overlapping fragments is constructed which gives rise to the construction of a physical map the optical mapping also uses the restriction enzymes but only on a single molecule of dna which is stretched and held in place on a slide the restriction enzyme cut the dna at specific point in the result the gaps are produced the next step is to dye the fragment so that the gaps can be visualized under a fluorescence microscope similar gaps increases the fluorescence intensity and the similar intensities are again as shown in the figure are overlap with each other and when we combine the result of all these overlapping fragments we get the we get the physical map of the uh, chromosome or the genetic region the second type or uh, uh, second technique used in the physical mapping is fluorescent in situ hybridization mapping the fluorescent in situ hybridization mapping makes use of the probes probes are the specific and short sequences of the dna which are specific for a uh, particular region of the uh, uh, dna on the genome as in uh, there are different probes for different genes used as in this case the probes are already dyed with fluorescence so when we they attach to the complementary strand of the sequence and then visualize under a, a fluorescence microscope they show the fluorescence and are easily detected by repeating this uh, experiment for different probes uh, designed for the uh, determination or detection of different genes we get different results by combining all these results we can get the complete map of a chromosome as shown in this diagram at left or um, right side a complete map of the uh, moth uh, the diagram is the picture of the chromosome 17 of four moths with in, in flor with fluorescence probes indicating the physical position of specific genes on left side a chromosome is shown with relative position of genes on that chromosome next te next technique is the sequence tag site mapping in this case the genome is broken into fragments and then cloned 10 times in the bacterial cell and then run on the pcr in pcr special primers are designed that binds only to STS region. STS is 200 to 500 base pair long unique sequences which are specific which are present only once or twice in the genome of an organism. We uh, repeat this process again and again for different primers designed specially for a particular STS. After that, we get we get the fragments. Some of the sometimes we uh, if the same STS is present on different fragments, it means it is showing the clone of that fragment. And if two STS are present on same fragment, it means that there are two different STS are present in the genome. So we overlap them with similar bands, uh, and a band uh, this overlapping gives rise to the construction of a physical map this was all about the procedure genome mapping uh, now the applications of the genome mapping genome mapping is equally important as the genome sequencing is scientists can easily locate a gene and study it in detail genome mapping helps researchers finding disease causing genes and their cure it has vast use in gene therapy gene cloning and genetic engineering with the help of genome mapping, we can use microbes to treat and prevent pollutants. In case of crops, it can help produce high yields and climate resistant varieties. Here you can find the references of my search. This was all from my side. If you like the presentation, just stay connected to Synbial Technologies Association SBA for more presentations related to life sciences. I thank you all for your attention and time.